Welcome to Michael Potts F1, everything Formula One, but from a photographer's point of view. Williams Racing are the third team to show off their 2023 liveries. And here I must confess, I'm, I'm, I'm quite disappointed actually. Okay, maybe my expectations were a little bit too high. Um, I was dreaming about what the possibilities could be. I was hoping to see beautiful Williams cars painted with sky blue and orange liveries. Going back to a classic Formula One livery, the Gulf Oil, magical, stunning paint job. Something similar to what they had done with Martini. Another classic livery that Williams had pulled off perfectly. I was really hoping that, that we would have something that beautiful coming out of the team today. Unfortunately, all we got were stickers. It's really disappointing. Hopefully the team will run the Gulf Oil livery as a one-off at one of the races this year. So in this livery launch, actually what we got were this year's colours on last year's car. There's not much we can learn about the 2023 car from this. The livery is actually quite lovely. It's a development on last year's theme and it's become a little bit more mature. What doesn't come across in the photographs that well is that the paintwork is actually matte rather than gloss. And I think that could look quite beautiful under lights in some of the night races. Apparently the matte paint is a little bit lighter than the gloss equivalent. And that is important because this year's cars are two kilograms lighter than last year's. So teams are gonna to have to scramble to try and find ways to save a little bit of weight. There's some lovely detailing in the car. Uh, such as the Duracell battery on the roll hoop. This is something that they'd run last year, but it's a little bit more mature and a little bit more polished this year. They've also added batteries to the Halo, which look quite cool. On the sponsorship side, there's been quite a lot of movement with several of the sponsors that former driver Nicholas Latifi had brought leaving the team. And these have been replaced by a host of new names, which you can now see on the car. The most exciting part of this launch was the unveiling of Alex Albin's new hairstyle. He's now sporting a fetching blonde mop, which is a change from his last year's lucky red highlighted look. We'll see if lighter hair makes you go faster. Let's hope so. Anyway, it looks great. On the other side of the garage, it'll be Logan Sargent's first season in Formula One. He had a brilliant F3 championship in 2020. He came third, but only four points behind championship winner Oscar Piastri. And it could have been completely different if he hadn't been bundled out on the first lap of the final race of the season. It was very important that last year he was able to compete in a number of the free practice sessions because this year, pre-season testing is only going to be three days. That doesn't give a driver very much experience to get to grips with how a Formula One car works. And it's going to be tough on all the rookies this year. It's going to be fairly difficult to gauge how successful his season is going to be. He's going up against a very good driver in Alex Albon. And he's driving a car that was, was quite often last in the hands of Nicholas Latifi last year. So I guess any improvement on that would be a mark of success. He is the first American Formula One driver for, for a number of years. So he's going to get a lot of attention because of that. He was born in Fort Lauderdale, which means the Miami race is his home Grand Prix. He actually grew up a stone's throw away from the track. Jamie Chadwick was also at the launch. She was one of the Academy drivers and will be doing a lot of simulator work for the team. She'll also be competing in the Indy Next series, so do look out for her there. She bossed the W series, and it's good to see her moving up to a new challenge. New Williams team principal James Vowles wasn't at the launch. He's currently still on gardening leave, coming over from Mercedes. He should be with the team before testing starts in Bahrain. Other than that, there wasn't really much to learn from this launch. I would have loved to have seen a Gulf Oil livery, but the one that they've got is still very, very beautiful. There has been some restructuring of the team, and hopefully the new team principal, the new driver, all of these changes will give the team a little bit of impetus, a little bit of oomph in the season going forward. Thank you for watching this review of the Williams livery launch. I really hope you've enjoyed it. What do you think of the revised colour scheme? And what do you think the prospects of Logan Sargent are going to be during the course of the season? Any Indy Next fans out there? I'd love to hear how Jamie's progressing in the series. The next reveal will be Alfa Romeo, so until then, goodbye.